important to see in the second quarter. They got on a run led by Trey Murphy, and it just kind of created a hole that it was hard for you guys to dig out of. Yeah, he, you know, he made some shots, um, and it's tough with that kind of range and height. Uh, you know, when you're shifted, you know, against whether it's Zion or Brandon Ingram in some isolation situations, and you want to help when they spread it out. You know, you're in a closeout situation. You need to get out there, but you know, in some of those, you just have to try to get a great contest, which is hard with his height. And then I thought the bank shot took it out of us too. Um, and you feel like you had a good possession, but you know they're hard to guard. Give, give them credit. Um, and uh, we've seen that, and we knew what we were facing defensively as well. With you know they have some really good on ball defenders. Did it seem like maybe some of the size that they have on their side kind of altered how shots were taken, even though maybe they were good looks, they just maybe fell short or um, or a little bit longer? Yeah, you know, we, we made some. Um, we struggled early uh, when, when the game opened up. I, I thought we did a good job of, you know, continuing to compete and play. We got down 20 at that one point. You know, we talked a lot about breaking the paint and attacking the rim. When we did that, um, you know, we were able to generate, you know, better looks, better execution. So something we'll keep doing and uh, you know, continue to take and, and get each other open open looks and keep keep attacking the rim and breaking the paint. Coach, the Hawks ran zone more than they had any other game mm -hmm. um, so far in the season. What do you like about this particular matchup and how do you think the zone coverage fares compared to the typical man man coverage that you run last night? Well, they they had a rhythm, you know. As we mentioned, sometimes even shooters, um, where you get in a zone, um, so, sometimes it's, it's a situation that wouldn't necessarily make sense when they have shooting on the floor. But sometimes the shots are a little different, and you know that was something that, you know you try to do to change the rhythm of the game a little bit. And uh, you know, eventually they see it enough, they start to attack it more and, and better, and that's that's what happened. Um, it seemed like Zion didn't have as much going against Clint, at least early on. We've seen some good things out of Clint's defense over the last few games. I'm curious how you've seen him improve. Yeah, you know, I, I think you know, both he and Bruno, um, you know, their ability to really trust the other guys on the backside and, and come over to help, um, whether they're on the ball or in some instances, you know, coming over when you know somebody's driving the ball. You know, making those shots hard. You know, sometimes you'll have a chance to block them, um, but a lot of times just your presence there, you know, can impact those shots. And you know, the challenge there is everybody's got a rebound. Um, you know, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that tonight, to be honest. And when we get those boards, we really got to run, um, particularly against the team that is as good in half court as they are, and that's something we got to continue to emphasize. And then just any updates on Sadiq? You know, not, nothing I can give you guys now. You know, they'll go through all the you know, protocols as far as evaluating him, whatever is called for him, as far as finding out exactly what, what's going on. Obviously, you guys saw the play, so hopefully he's all right. Just to follow up on Clint, um, it seems like he's gotten back into his normal form since he's returned back from injury. Just what have you seen from his mindset? Because every time I would ask him questions about it, he just, it seems like he was very mature about his mindset and he didn't allow it to get to him. So what have you seen from him mental wise? Yeah, you know, to be honest, sometimes, you know, being out when you come back, you know, you want, you're so glad to be back and it speeds you up a little bit and, you know, we just talked to him about having fun, you know, and playing like he did when he was 18. And there's no pressure on him. Just, you know, be, be who you are. And um, He's a competitor, too. You know, sometimes if you're not playing at the level you want, it can snowball a little bit, you know, if you care as much as he does. And you know, he's worked, him, worked himself out of that, for sure. Coach, another start for Beat. What did you like out of him? I know he does a lot more than just score, but would you like to see him maybe put up some more shots too? Um, you know, he, he had a couple open ones, but he got the ball to someone. You know, if he's passing the ball to Bogey for a, a 
the same look. Um, and I think that's the right play. So, you know, obviously, you know, you want him to attack, but there's there's a lot of ways to attack, and uh, he's able to to make plays for other people. Um, you know, and that that helps us. You know, he, when he's in the starting lineup, he can do that for other guys on the team. And I thought he did a good job moving his feet. Thank you. Yeah, Coach Quinn, uh, looking forward. You guys got a five-game road trip heading out west. Um, obviously, the injury bug being the way it is. Are there any initial thoughts on how to attack this road trip? You guys do have three days rest before you play Portland. Just kind of wanted to see if you were uh, looking forward to that or what you had in mind. Yeah, you know, one of the things tonight, obviously, we didn't win. and um, There's a lot you want to improve upon. But, you know, our effort and our focus defensively, you know, has been there. And, you know, that needs to continue to be there. Become more efficient on the offensive end, but you know, defense is going to keep us in games. And it's crucial on the road, you know, to have that mindset.